Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Commander. Today, we're gonna start off with some tech, I guess. Um, I'm still a little sick, so again, mind the uh, apologies for the coughing and uh, and sniffling that I'm sure will be going on today. Uh, do we want to try engines again? Hey, new uh, carrier boilers. And new cruiser boilers. And new destroyer boilers. Cool. Um... We could, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. I'll bring you guys back to the, uh, I'll bring you guys back to the dock when I have all that finished up. And I'm back. So, the carrier now is doing 36.9 knots. I, I memorized them because I know you can't see them here. Here, um, The carrier is doing 36.9 knots. The destroyer is now doing 37.7, and the cruiser is now doing 39 and a half, I think. But one caveat to the cruiser is that I actually had to remove one of the main guns on the rear because it got too heavy. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I wanted more speed than I, I was willing to give up one one main gun turret for you know a little extra speed, a couple extra knots of speed. So that's that. Don't have any money to do, I don't have enough money to do any more tech. Oh wow, this is uh, a little sooner than I was expecting. Um, we'll try it with the cruiser and see how it goes, but... Captain, an emergency signal. Let's hear the briefing first. The super ship has begun its attack on allied port cities. What? Where? One moment, please. It's close. If we go there now, we might just be in time to help. Captain, we have to stop them. We cannot let them kill civilians. Okay. Well, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna try it with the cruiser and see how it goes. Speaking of cruisers, we're gonna get our cruiser escorts back. There we go. There we go. Um. Yeah. Let's let's see how this goes. Yay, no black screen. I love it when that happens. All hands to battle Charge! Full speed ahead. Ah, let's see. We'll Super we'll try the lock on and see how it goes. Uh, if not, we'll have to free aim it. But we'll see. See what happens. Um, yeah, we'll free aim it, because that was, uh, not quite working as intended. I was, I was beginning to wonder how this was going to work in, in 2D like this, but I guess that's one way to do it. Um, there we go, that's better. Well, it's not really 2D, I, I guess I shouldn't say 2D, but um, it's top-down kind of perspective. Well, he's not hurting us too badly. Oh, those will probably hurt, though. Oof. Oh, okay, we're good. I don't want to find out. No, stop it. All right, well, so much for, yeah, me and my big mouth. Come back here. Where are you? There he is. Oh boy. Where are you? Come back. Oh man, stop doing that. We can't even like attack him when he does that. Come on now, come on. Oh, there you are. Oh dear. Eesh, okay, we're good. Uh, 
Ah, no, not even close. Oh, well, that hit us. Okay, come on now. I'm hoping that this, this like, stage of the boss battle or whatever, where he just circles like this outside of our range of, like, being able to hit him, I'm hoping that this stage of the boss fight comes to an end pretty quickly, uh, so we can move into whatever the next one is after this, because this is not cool. I don't like this. This is this is just plain annoying right here. <laughs> um Huh. Oh, oh, maybe he'll Yeah, he's too high. How are we supposed to hit him if he's too high? I don't I don't um What in the world? I don't know how this is supposed to be possible if we can't even hit him. Which one of our ships is it that has AA missiles? Is it the carrier? We might have to just load the carrier up with interceptors and try this with that. Which is not something I would recommend doing in either of the other two games when fighting this guy, but just because of the way the camera is... Once again, the wonderful camera and Naval Ops Commander. Uh, that might be the only option. Because our guns only shoot so high, but he's flying above where our guns actually go off. So... Ay ay ay. Up. Oh, where'd you go? <coughs> yeah, you you can't really You can't really hit him without uh I guess you need proper anti-air missiles, which we just don't have. See, our guns don't go that high. This is weird. I was worried about this fight specifically because of the camera. And uh, it seems my concerns were justified. I, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Are we supposed to be able to hit him now? Because now he's too far away. Is that supposed to be how we're how we're doing this here? Cause yeah, that doesn't work when he's that far away. Um, um. Well. Uh. I mean, if he's gonna like, maybe he's flying in the exact same circle like the entire time, and I just haven't like noticed that yet. No, we can't hit him up there. I don't understand. Where'd you go now? There you are. Okay. That was a little better. He came lower that time, at least. Um, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, boy. Nope, me. So, uh, flew back up again. <sighs> Where are you? He did. He did it again. I don't understand this. This is this is why. I know it gets annoying me complaining about the camera, but this is exactly why stuff like this. It's just this. This type of boss battle was not meant for this camera, or the, rather, this camera was not meant for this type of boss battle. It's not a matter of it's too difficult, it's a matter of it's literally not possible to hit him 90 some odd percent of the time. That's not difficult, that's just nonsense. Difficulty I can deal with, you know, if he has a strategy that, that there is to actually, like, make sure you can hit him, that's great. But if it's not clearly, like, 
Not, I, it doesn't have to be told to you, but if you can't figure it out in like two seconds, then it's a flaw with the boss fight. That's not how boss fights are supposed to be. If there is a specific strategy that a specific boss has, you're supposed to be able to figure that out midway through the boss fight relatively quickly. And we've been at this guy for, I don't know, like eight and a half minutes or something now, nine minutes. And so far, it's I'm sailing in a circle and waiting for him to come next to me, and maybe when he comes next to me, he'll be low enough for me to actually shoot at him. Kind of like that, sort of. Yeah. Woo! I mean, is that all? Either I'm missing something, or this is kind of a poorly designed boss fight for this for this camera, anyways. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're wearing him down a little by little. This is, um, see, and he, he's, he goes low when I'm not near him, comes back up again when we are right next to him. Okay, let's try to go this way then, like so, I suppose. Where do you go now? Oh, there he is. Oh, now he's low over here. Oh, uh, see what I mean? Doesn't make any sense. Where'd you go? Where? Oh, there he is. Found him again somehow. Yeah, nope. Alright. Eh. Come on. Oh man, it's so annoying. even more annoying is that like at this rate he might even sink me which will be even more frustrating because then I get to do all this over again we're finally getting to the point where we actually almost have him and now he's gonna end up sinking me <laughs> because you know logic I guess this is just how the boss fight is supposed to go. Um, in which case, this is uh, more of an annoying boss fight than anything anything else, really. Eh. Nope. I get like one shot every 30 seconds, and if I don't make it count, then I gotta wait another however long, 30 seconds or whatever it is. Uh, that time was a little bit less, but again, he flew upwards before I could get a shot, so... I don't know what else I can do, other than just uh, take pot shots every couple of seconds, and he, he did it again. I can't counter that. Like, my auto-fire weapons can fire that high, but I can't fire that high. Where'd you go? There you are. There we go. Oh, well, one shot, and um, that's all I get. And I just wait until next time. And he's up again. <laughs> and he's up, he's up right now. Come on. Get down here. Oh, oh, that was a good pass. That was a good pass. Damage to the engines. Of course, because that's exactly what we need in a boss fight like this. As if it couldn't have gotten much worse. It, it does. Fleet ship sunk. There's no doubt about it, he can do a lot of damage, but it's mostly because you can't really fight back Mission half failed. the time. Yeah, like that. Wow, that's annoying. Oopsies. 
Uh, let's see. That's my phone. Oh, uh, let's, uh, yeah. Let's do this with the carrier, which has, well, we're going to load the carrier with, like, nothing but interceptors, and then we're going to try it with the carrier, which also has AA missiles. So, that's our best shot uh, at this point. Let me know if I'm totally missing some awesome strategy in, in, the, in the comments, but as far as I can tell, that's the whole boss fight. And like I said, it's not that it's difficult, it's not that he does a lot of damage and you don't do much to him. That I could handle. There's, you know, you, there's strategies for that. But just not being able to hit him? That's something else. That's just bad design. I like this game. I like this series of games. I think they're great games and they're good fun. But, you know, I'll do the same thing with this game that I do with Battlefield. I love the game and therefore I will critique it. Now, of course, with Battlefield, they can still go make changes, but this game, you well, know, probably not, but we're just gonna load up on P-51s. But yeah, you know, when I criticize a game, it's generally because I really like the game and I want the game to be better. Um, I'm not trying to shoot it down and say, oh, this game sucks, because I do like this game, I, you know, but that's why I want to see it be better. All right, nothing but interceptors. We're going to have to remember to change that ASAP, but um, I don't think we have any more of these. I think we just, yeah, we found those two in a mission somewhere. So, yeah. This could be a long episode because I definitely want to actually show this guy being defeated. Aircraft carrier, cruiser escorts. Let's do this. Oh, this is. At least this is compensating for the the annoyance of the boss fight. My black screen crash has not happened either of the times that it normally does, which is starting a mission. Twice in a row, it's it's worked just fine, and that is making me much happier than I am. Um, would be otherwise. Oh, I'm still stations. happy. I'm just like my minorly annoyed by the by this fight so far. But we'll see. We'll see. Super Here he comes. Uh huh. Yeah, this uh, this style of boss fight doesn't quite work in a um. A top-down game like this, it just, it's not, this isn't what it's meant for. Now, my issue with the aircraft carrier, my concern anyways, is that it's not going to have the health or armor to cope with the damage that he can do. So, in terms of sinking this guy, it's like, now or never, because as soon as he starts hitting us with those stronger attacks, we are in big trouble. Aircraft carriers in these games tend to be a little squishy, you know? Oh, and here we go into the uh, second and more frustrating phase of this boss fight. Oh, dodge. Alrighty. Let's, where is he? Let's attempt to follow him with our camera. Nope, he's up again. Well, this is what the AA missiles and my aircraft are for, hopefully. In theory. I'm not saying it's a design flaw that he does that, it's just poor poor design choice for him to do that whole fly up where you can't shoot him thing. I'm fully aware that they probably meant for it to be that way, I just disagree with the decision to make it that way. And everyone that's watching this isn't totally, totally fine and entitled to disagree with me, and that's fine. Everyone can have their opinions. In my opinion is that this is nonsense. <laughs> um, let's okay. And I and I know a lot of you might be saying, "Well, just follow him your, with your camera, like I'm doing now." Well, then I can't see. First of all, he does that anyways, so it doesn't matter. Second of all, if I do that, then I won't be able to see torpedoes and dodge them, which is actually a major thing because if I sink, then what's the point? And 
when he does go down, it's really far away from me. Like so. Oh, please. No, nope. that was our chance. That was our chance to get some big hits. Speaking of big hits, I just noticed uh, our damage. <laughs> Don't know when that came up, but um, yeah. Hmm. If we sink this time, I think I'm going to leave the episode there so that you guys will have uh, some time to let me know what I might be doing wrong here or what I might be able to do to make this actually, you know, possible. I think all of my planes need to land, but they can't because my deck is damaged and there's no, like, repair kits or anything in this game. Oh, I still have this. Oh, dude, I wonder if this will tear him up when he comes by. If he gets close enough to me to, for me to actually shoot him with it. My rapid-fire 5-inch gun. Uh, well, he's up again. I don't know, this might actually aim high enough. And he's up again. Man, that gets old. The only other thing I can think to do is use the battleship, because the battleship has the longest range guns, so when he goes down and he's not near us, it'll be slightly less of an issue. Um, the battleship also has the most health and armor, and the bigger guns also mean that when I do hit them, they'll do more damage. All in theory, of course. So, but we won't try that this time. Um, if we sink, or if I decide to just say screw it and cut it off, because this is a massive, massive waste of time. Or if we beat it, then... If we beat it, then disregard everything I'm about to say. But if we don't beat him, then definitely let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Uh, what we might be able to do to actually make this not a, you know, 15-minute circle fest. Cause that's that's all it is right now. That's a hundred percent what this is, and and nothing else. My my only idea is to pretty much just use the battleship for the bigger guns, the more range, and the more health. That's that's uh, that's my whole plan pretty much. If this doesn't work, which it's starting to look like I won't. Uh, I won't, it won't, I don't know, I'm losing my mind at this point. Um, where'd you go now? Of course, you're all the way over here. My planes are probably, like, out of ammo and everything, because they are not even attempting to chase him anymore. He's so far away from us. See, this is where the battleship's range would be nice. <laughs> Oh, come on. Nope. If you're gonna sink me, just sink me already. Man, you know, when I started this fight with the cruiser that first time, I thought, wow, this is gonna be a pretty straightforward boss fight. You know, it's, uh, it's anything but straightforward. I don't know if they can still land, or like, if if they can't, or maybe they can and it just takes longer, but I guess we'll try and make them land. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Also, I might need to be sailing in a straight line, which wasn't the case in the other games, it might be the case in this one, but if that is the case, it's not gonna happen. So, I hope that's not what they're waiting for. I'm sure we are.
<sighs> Look, Archaeopteryx, either die or just sink me already. One of the two, please. At this rate, he's gonna run out of fuel before anything significant happens here. I really want to know if I'm missing something or if this is just total dumb luck of whether or not he's down low or up high when he goes by you. Like it doesn't look like he's really following a pattern on the map at all. He's just kind of doing whatever he wants. Well I think I've had about all of that mission that I can take for one night. Um, so yeah, that's uh... That was rather frustrating. Not so much, ah, frustrating's the wrong word, just annoying. Just, like, why, you know? But, um, I don't know, I was probably missing something. It's probably my fault, but if it is, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. If, uh, if, if you can refrain from, from just yelling you're an idiot at me, which I'm sure a lot of you probably want to do, um, if you can refrain from that, I would love some tips in the comments. That would be fantastic. And last thing in regards to doing two videos a day, um, I'll list off some things that I was thinking about. Because I, I do play a lot of other games other than just these, of course. I play a lot of the new games that come out, everything like that. As far as games I would like to cover, probably, things like... Battle Stations Midway or Battle Stations Pacific. We've still got EL1 or EL2 to do in Warship Gunner 2 and Warship Gunner 1. Um, and then there's newer stuff like I could put up some Battlefield 1 multiplayer gameplay. I could put up. I could start kind of like a Arc Survival Evolved series, maybe, now that the game just released recently. I had it before, but. Um, you know, I could do that, I could play the Assassin's Creed games, I have most of those, so, you know, um, I'm open to, I'm open to subject, uh, suggestions in the comments, and, uh, let me know what you guys think. Nova Topaz made a good point, he said that trying to put up two videos of this game per day would be kind of a bad idea, because it would restrict the amount of feedback I can actually get from you guys, which is a very, very good point, and especially now... At this point of the game, I'm going to be relying on that a lot more. So, um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you want to? What are you interested in seeing? The Battle Stations games are pretty well covered, but they are a lot of fun, and they won't take too long to finish. So, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.